Wednesday forecast with Michelle. And a lot of those heaters around uh, Rhode Island right now in southern New England. Cranking right now, it's pretty chilly out. And you know, we've dropped into the teens, Patrick. Some of our temperatures starting to climb a couple of degrees, though, and the clouds have rolled in, and that should allow for uh, the temperature decline to sort of slow. What do we mean by that is that we've probably reached our overnight lows already at 12 degrees in Smithfield. It's plenty cold out there. 17 in Providence, 18 Newport, 19 New Bedford right now in Westerly. Coming in at 19, you add in even a light wind, and it gives us some single digit wind chills at times. Feels only at three degrees in Smithfield, eight Providence, seven Newport, two in the Boston area. Our threat tracker future cast over the next couple of days is low. There's no severe weather on the way for us. Storm track is going to remain well to our south. Now, we are going to see a lot of clouds around for today, and we may start to see some uh, flurries or light snow showers pop up over, especially eastern Massachusetts, but the Rhode Island coast to Plymouth, Cape, and the islands all at risk of seeing uh, a couple of flurries for today. So keep that in mind as you get the kids ready at the bus stop this morning. Temperatures in the teens early on, brisk and a cold start, and then mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon with temperatures close to 30 degrees. You're going to need the warm coat and the hats and gloves through the day, though it won't be quite as cold as what it was yesterday. High pressure kept us dry overnight. That high is going to slide to the east. We're tracking a storm system well south of us. That's where where some of the extra clouds are coming from. We have that northeasterly wind drying in some moisture out over the ocean. The combination, again, could spark a couple of flurries, and that's what this future cast shows. You can see that at 9 o'clock, this little bit of light blue. It shouldn't slow you down or cause any significant trouble for you as you try and head out and about this afternoon. Under mostly cloudy skies at 3 o'clock, mostly areas uh, in Rhode Island will be dry. As we head into the overnight hours, we'll have the potential for another flurry or two, especially over the Cape, and we'll start off with some of that extra cloudiness on on Thursday morning before giving way to some brighter skies. So looking ahead to the seven day future cast, I did make a change in the weekend forecast. Our computer models were showing over the last couple of days, a storm system on Sunday passing to our north and not really causing much trouble. Well, that same storm storm system now may allow for a new coastal storm to be generated on Sunday. And what that means for us is a potential for some rain. In fact, could be some downpours for the game on Sunday at 640, the kickoff temperatures will be close to 40 degrees during the game but with rain put uh, possibly uh, winds from the south about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So we're going to see if that trend here and the computer models continues for the weekend uh, with that storm potential. And it does look like a wet one, not a winter storm, but one that would produce rain for our area. We'll see if that's a trend that continues. You'll want to download.